adventure and fantasy books. Really. I like true life stories and diaries and things like that. Yeah, I read biographies, fictions, information books. I like kind of fantasy adventure. I'm into uh, biographies and um, like more good life stories. I like to read like good novels that like about true stories. Uh, I like reading about another country oh, and okay. adventures. Yeah to know more about different people in different countries, languages. Yeah, I read this, not like Harry Potter or anything like that, it's just like poetry books, like other people's poems and stuff. I've just got a book out of the school library called Buddhist Tales, and it's really interesting. Uh, I really read Japanese comics, mostly. You're a manga boy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Have any of you read any books that deal with issues of uh, not just not just necessarily racism, but about books about other cultures? And if you have, what benefit have you had from it? Yeah, there is the book by Mallory Blackman, mm -hmm. Knots and Crosses, which is kind of about all people's different races. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. about racism as well. Oh, okay. And it's really interesting. When you guys are reading your books. Do you think that there are books out there that actually represent you? Do you? Can you hear, like say, represent your family, your culture, your background, your upbringing? There aren't enough books about Afro-Caribbean kids. Like, it's all English secret agents and all English heroes. I like to see other books about cultures because some people can just judge people's looks instead of their background. I think, like, they should... If they did like more information books about different cultures, then it would help to like slow down racism. There should be more books about other cultures. Mm -hmm. And um, but why? Because it's unfair, and all the other people that come here mm -hmm. they expect to be uh, involved in everything and in books. For me, one of the biggest things was finding was reading a book called The Invisible Man, and it kind of spoke to me in a way because it was about uh, about this young black boy really or that grew up to be this man and uh, and I'm just wondering is there been any books that have touched you in any particular way that's really helped you to come to terms with who you are as a person? I come from Pakistan but there's not that many books where they talk about Muslims because I'm Muslim and when I read books they're mostly about English but they are nice but it would be nice to read a book about my culture. Yeah, they don't really give much detail about the Caribbean countries. They always about like British people and these are the Indian and true stories on these things but not much of Caribbean stories because maybe your culture some something in about you is in the book so you feel like you're actually in there and you can actually hear your, yourself actually acting in the book just generally in your reading um, do you have a favorite book that's inspired you or do you, do you feel that the books that you're reading now have some kind of inspiration yeah. in what you're writing today in your because you're all poets yeah. and you've all performed um, locally nationally and internationally mm. you know yeah. so do you feel that anything from what you're reading or what you've read in the past has inspired you to write one I've mentioned that I'm reading my country by Mohammed Altia Fusein this inspired me to know about my own people and what struggle they've been through so that helps like pain is inspiration to write with right and I write so other people know. Do you feel that like with informing people that you're making some kind of change? Yeah, because to say that a country, Bangladesh, fought for the language has never been done before and I think right. it should be recognised and most people understand me with that situation. Mm -hmm. Actually, the first book that really inspired me was written, it's called There's a Flower by right. Darius uh, Wallace. and. Yeah. Um, it's an autobiography, so I read that book and it really touched me because as I am from Africa and although it's not the same situation but them, because it's about a girl being circumcised That's and right, yeah. all this struggle she has to go through. Personally, I think even if it hasn't made change to a lot of people, it's been like therapy to me in some way. You're all in full-time education and um, you know, 
of studying English, mm. Mm. part of the curriculum, um, do they try to introduce books from other cultures, other countries, or do you feel that the books are very much related to um, mm. Western, Western society? The Western the Western books, books, yeah. I think the books, like, say, of Mice and Men and The Crucible, they're kind of more, you know, American-British, but I think, as in poetry... Yeah. When we d- when we're studying poetry, they do bring the different cultures because they've got the section like cultures, and they do bring like Jamaican, African, Indian, Asian. And you get to see, you not just see one type of poetry, but as in books, we kind of it's strict. It's like it's Shakespeare, yeah. and mm. it's not like we read anything from a different country, so we don't kind of mm. get that opportunity. For me, actually, I've been really looking through some libraries, and I have not yet to find a book from Rwanda. Really. Yeah, I mean, I find books that talk about Rwanda, but not from people from Rwanda writing their own accounts. I mean, I've heard, I've seen books about the genocide, and I've been through that, so there's no need for me to read about it. Mm-hmm. So I really love to listen to some someone from Rwanda talk about a different life, the kind of life I used to know that we c- you could lead in Rwanda.